My name is Ariadna Contreras, and I've spent several months researching emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is your ability to identify what you're feeling, why you're feeling it, how what you're feeling affects you, and how your emotions affect everyone around you. Four qualities of emotional intelligence are self-awareness, self-regulation, with motivation, empathy, and social skills. Researchers found that emotional intelligence is directly related to resilience and through that connection, it's related to achievement and achievement motivation. In other words, those with high levels of emotional intelligence are more likely to strive for success and pursue their goals, meet those goals, and get back on track after a failure or disappointment. Seven qualities of emotional intelligence. One, not being afraid of change. Uh, seeing it as a fact of life and quickly adapting. Two, being self-aware, knowing what you're good at what you can work on and what kinds of environments suit you best uh, number three being empathetic can easily relate and understand others issues committed to um quality no perfection as an impossible standard balanced and able to have a healthy professional personal life Curious, open-minded, and love to explore possibilities. And finally, seven, they're gracious, grateful, and happy. Identifying and solving hurt. None of us can escape hurt. It is a loss of trust, betrayal, bad, bad treatment, etc. We feel disappointed, have unmet expectations, understand those things that hurt and struck, realize you may not have lost anything, Lose the false perception of inter intentional hurt, communicate hurt, and needs where necessary. Identifying and solving anger. When we are hurt, we may feel angry. Taking offense, experiencing loss may bring anger. Let anger serve us rather than create chaos. Try to understand the violation that brought anger. Try to gain perspective on the actual issue at hand. Turn a victimized reaction into a can-do response. Learn to master the intentions of your mind. Identify in solving frustration. Frustration is the primary emotion anger displays. Frustration is rooted in demands and blame. Frustration is experienced via rigid beliefs and thinking. Constant frustration needs a change of approach. Quit negative thinking and negative self-talking. Do not get sucked into blame or blaming drama. Become more flexible and adaptive in your viewpoints. Use your talents, gifts, resources for a positive approach. So depression, grief, and fear. Expression of helplessness via unexpressed pain or loss. Depression focus is losses, emptiness, and unfulfilled. Also, a feeling of helplessness or worthless, worth, worthlessness. Seeing bad events as permanent, pervasive, and personal. Try finding and accepting a strong purpose in life. Prioritize what is important to you and what you can do. Be open to your blessings, gifts, what you have gained. Understand the gifts of life and living. Learn to be grateful. Identifying and solving loneliness. An emotion that can disconnect us from the world. Try learning to connect with others in a meaningful way. Think positively about each new meeting in person. Practice being emotionally available in connections. Ask and listen for what people really enjoy and want to do. Change negative meaning attached to painful memories. Replace negative memories with positive experiences. Envy is a self-destructive emotion from measuring who has more. Being around happy, healthy, wealthy can still stir envy when hurting. When, feelings, when feeling envious, interrogate yourself, improve yourself. Change feelings of unworthiness and envy to work on your needs. 
Use negative feelings to develop positive personal development. Gain more knowledge. Develop strategies. Learn to use tools. Think through skills needed for a positive, fulfilling life and career. Guilt, regret, and remorse occur occur when you feel wrong. These emotions tell you no more of this enough. Guilt is also your violation of your highest standards. Learning to handle guilt properly can fix regret. Remorse. Forgiveness is essential to end guilt, regret, and remorse. Forgiveness means really letting go of the negatives. Forgiving is a gift to yourself, freeing you from a burden. Have integrity. Be responsible for guilt and forgiveness. And thank you so much for your time.